I'm standing here in downtown State College in front of something that people don't see every day, but people are starting to see more and more in many of our cities and towns. This is a rain garden, also called a bioswale, that's part of a new design strategy uh, a lot of towns and cities in America are beginning to use called green infrastructure. And green infrastructure simply means that landscape can be used to provide ecosystem services and benefits to urban places. A green infrastructure installation like this rain garden is meant to trap runoff from the surrounding streets, like here in State College, and allow it to infiltrate into the soil and also to capture pollution that might make its way eventually to downstream environments. This is but one type of green infrastructure solution that many uh, planners in our urban cities and towns are starting to use. Another one you may have seen is called a green roof, such as the one on top of Penn State's forestry building. A third type of green infrastructure is called porous pavement, which is simply a new type of sidewalk or street that allows water to infiltrate directly into the soil rather than running off to downstream rivers and streams. While State College only has a few of these green infrastructure installations to date, it's the hope of many planners, ecologists, and urban designers that these sorts of types of installations can be used in a matrix and blanket the city to provide flood protection, pollution control, and downstream stormwater management for cities and towns of all sizes.